since a lot of people will be coming from Google Chrome and wondering how to import passwords into Bitwarden, I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is go up to the top and click on your icon. It's next to, uh, located next to the three dots. Then you want to go down to the password button. It looks like a key. Click that. And that will open this new tab. And from here, you'll see all your passwords located inside Google Chrome. To export these passwords and put them into Bitwarden, what you want to do is click on the three dots right here and click on export passwords. What this will do is pop up a window. The window is going to ask for your login password for your Windows or Mac OS. So click that, click export, enter your password, and save it to a location you get to. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Chrome passwords is a good enough uh, file name. Click save. Once you've done that, it's been saved to the desktop or wherever you located it at. Then go into your Bitwarden account, the online account, located at bitwarden.com, sign in, then go to tools, then go to import data. Then you want to step one, select the format. You want to select Chrome CSV. Then choose the file. Then you want to click on Chrome Passwords. Click Open. Then click Import Data. And then the data is imported. Next thing you might want to know is what passwords have been in the breaches or what passwords you are using. You can easily do this by going into each item, clicking it, and there's a little uh, checkbox next to the password item over here. You click that, and it'll tell you if it's been in any breaches. And this is telling me it's been in, uh, this password has been exposed 5,368 times in data breaches. You should change it. Um, of course, it's something simple and easy. So you can go into that particular website, log in and change the password. I have a video linked down below on how to do that. Uh, if you have a lot of imported passwords, this can be very daunting. So what you want to do is go to your tools at the top again. Uh, and you can, if you pay for uh, the premium service for Bitwarden, you can easily do this with a press of a button, click the exposed password report. And it'll tell you every password that's been in a breach. You can also do the reuse passwords weak ones, uh, so on and so forth, but you will have to pay for that upgrade to premium and it's well worth it. It'll take a, a task that'll take a long time. It'll, the premium version will make this a lot easier, a lot faster. Um, it's well worth it if you can get, uh, get into it. But yep, that's how you import passwords from Google Chrome into Bitwarden and then that's how you check the passwords to see if there have been any breaches. And you can make this job a lot easier if you pay for the premium service it's cheap, it's affordable, you get a year worth of it, it's 100% recommended. Don't forget, once you imported your passwords into Bitwarden from Chrome, you want to go back to your icon, click on that, and go back to the key, click on that. And you also want to uncheck these two items because uh, you don't want Google Chrome uh, remembering your passwords for you anymore. And Google Chrome and Bitwarden, uh, you only want one activated. If both are activated, they can get confused, they can confuse each other, uh, and you'll end up saving passwords here. And it's just a bad habit, really. It's just a mess that will be created. So you want to make sure these two items are unchecked. And then from all, you want to be saving your passwords into Bitwarden. And of course, the link will be down in the description below how to uh, change passwords using Bitwarden. So look in the description box down below of this video. And thank you guys.